Hello everybody, welcome to the Mystery Steamboat channel. If you subscribed already, a big thumbs up to you. If you're not subscribed, there's a button for subscriptions, a little bell for notifications when I upload a new video. Now this little series is called My Favourites. It could be a top 10 of my favourite subject. <laughs> so it might be books, it could be CDs, it could be movies, it could be TV. Um, let's just see what this episode is all about. Right, today's list is my top 10 sitcoms, British sitcoms. Well, I say sitcoms or comedy shows because they could be sketch shows as well, but British comedy shows on the telly. This is my little list. So we start off with number 10. I've got them in a pop order this time. Number 10, On the Buses. This was a 70s British um, sitcom on ITV. Um, I've got the DVD box set of all the TV series. Um, the movies are always being played on ITV3 if you're in England. Um, normally around Christmas time or bank holiday time or Easter time. They always sit and show literally all three and you know, consecutive days all back to back. Just loved, especially Holiday on the Buses. Loved that movie. Loved that movie. Um, and although it's um, the show is about Stan and is the main driver of the bus. The one I like the most is Arthur, who's married to Olive, who's Stan's sister. Um, he is just so funny, so funny, very deadpan in his jokes. Um, he does pop up in, um, I think it's a shot in the dark, I think it is. It's one of the Pink Panther movies with Peter Sellers. Again, very good in that, so really, really good, really good series. A bit sexist maybe, a bit out of its time maybe, but still funny, <laughs> still funny, sorry. Um, number nine on my list is Are You Being Served? Are You Being Served? Another show from the 70s, 80s, set in a department store. Um, I'm free! John Minman's in it. Um, you've got um, Frank Fulton as Captain Peacock, Mrs. Slocum with a pussy. Uh, it's just, it's a brilliant show. It went on for years, years. Again, there was another movie made for it, uh, the Are You Being Served movie, where the Grace Brothers go on holiday. Um, for some reason, it was we watched it the other day on ITV3. They've cut out a scene. Now I can see why they've cut it out because in it's not a politically incorrect scene, but it's not very nice for the Germans. But it's a funny scene. Luckily, I've got a copy of it before they've edited that scene out because it's like you should leave it in there. It's a funny scene. But if you've never seen on uh, Are You Being Served, just keep an eye out on ITV3. The movie's bound to pop up again at some point. Give it a watch if you've never seen it because it is funny. It is funny. Number eight on my list is Some Mothers Do Have Them. Uh, that's um, got Michael Crawford in it, who, if you watched it, pretty much does all his own stunts in that film, I put that off series. I say pretty much, you might do all of them. It's just there's some really good stuff in there. Really, really funny stuff. Um, a lot of people say like the, the funniest one is him on the roller skates. Um, I can't even say what my funniest one is because there's so many funny, funny ones. There's a whole scene where he's doing it with um, Fulton Mackay, who is in Porridge, who also pops up in, or the British version he released, of Fraggle Rock. And he has to sort of like put all the um, different shapes into a thing in the wall, and he basically puts them all in, put all in the wrong holes, <laughs> but he gets them in. But it's just so many, in fact, actually the one that was probably, was, I can't remember the name of it now, he goes on the training course to learn how to be like a door-to-door -door salesman type thing. That is such such a funny episode. Um, I can't even believe there's there's so many good episodes in that series. There's one where him and Betty go on a a weekend away. Not sure it's a belated honeymoon or just a weekend away. That's so funny. <laughs> such a funny series. So again, that's something that pops up on British telly on uh, BBC Four maybe or three. I don't know if he's gone there in it. But again, worth checking out if you've never seen it. A '70s show. Very very funny. Uh, number seven on my list was a toss-up between, do I go for the original, which when they featured in this series, which was Man About the House, or do I go for the spin-off? I have gone for the spin-off. That's George and Mildred. George and Mildred. They were the funniest part, I think, of Man About the House. But then in their own series, they were even funnier because it's just the way they bounced off each other. Um, George was funny. Mildred, like you for Joyce, was even funnier, and just the way they bounced together. I forget the name now, the actor who plays George. Um, no, it's, it's slipped me mind now, but again, 70s. I don't think the humour's sexist, I don't think it's just funny. It's 70s humour, but it's just funny. That's a good show, good show. 
There is also, again, a movie of that one as well. That like Some of these 60s, 70s shows had a spin-off movie. That one had one as well, a spin-off movie. Um, that was quite funny as well, so yeah. So that's good. Number six on my list, so it's not a sitcom, that's why I sort of said like comedies in general for British telly, because it had to be in there. Monty Python's Flying Circus. That is funny. Um, it's like any sketch, I suppose, that there's so many sketches, and some sketches you can laugh at, some you're not. And that's the beauty of a sketch, I think. Like, you don't like that sketch, but you like that sketch, and you love it, you know. And th there's just so many classic sketches. They made a movie, and now for something completely different, which is basically a movie of their sketches from the TV series. Um, it's hard to say what, what is my favourite sketch. You, you've got the Dead Parrot sketch, obviously everyone knows that one. You've got these Spanish Inquisition. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. That's funny. I like that nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more, say no more. That's funny. There's just so many. The Ministry of Silly Walks with John Cleese. Just so many good sketches. Obviously that led to the films, which I never mentioned in my top ten movies, because that should have been in there, really, which is The Life of Brian. I absolutely wet myself laughing at that. Every time I watch it, I laugh at that movie. Just so many good scenes of that. And like, what have the Romans ever done for us? Well, there's the aqueducts. Yeah, but apart from the aqueducts, what have the Romans ever done for us? Well, it's Save the Walk Streets tonight. Yes, but apart from that, and it just it goes on. It's just such such a funny film. Um, but yeah, so it had to be in there because I forgot to put it in my movies. But Monty Python's Flying Circus. Everyone's heard of that. Um, even if you're not of a certain age, you've probably heard of it because of the Pythons. Um, certainly Americans love it. You know, they, they, I know the Americans love it. They did a live show at the Hollywood Bowl way back in, I think, the mid-80s, I think it was. So, yes, very, very, very funny. Number five on my list is Black Adder. There's four seasons of Black Adder. The first Black Adder's funny because it's got Brian Blessed in it, and it's funny. Um, Black Adder the third is set in... Um, George the Six is it times that's funny Black Adder goes fourth set in World War One that's funny but for me the start of the four seasons is Black Adder the second set in Elizabethan times that is just if you only watch one Black Adder series watch that one it's every episode is funny it's just funny 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 um, number four on my list aha it's Alan Partridge. How can I not have Alan Partridge in my list? Um, there's been quite a few seasons that he's done. He's done Know Me, Knowing You. He's done I'm Alan Partridge. He's done Mid Morning Matters. I think it's coming back this year with another Mid Morning Matters on BBC Two, I think. He's done a movie as Alan Partridge. But for me, it is the first I'm Alan Partridge TV series, which is set in... He's kind of lost everything. Um, he's lost his TV show because in the TV show he accidentally killed someone um, and he's now sort of like trying to regain popularity he's on um, a, a, a radio station at the like the two o'clock in the morning show but he lives in a, um, a hotel like a holiday inn like travel lodge you know a, a premier inn it's just so funny if you've never watched the Iron Man and Partridge series um, you should really watch it there is some really, really funny episodes in that show. Really funny episodes. I'm not even going to describe them because I just start laughing. Really, really funny. Um, it's just way he does. Some, like sometimes it's like when he does a, you know, he's like well done. He goes doesn't say well done. He goes Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's just way he's brilliant. He's brilliant. Um, number three on my list. Now we come into the top three. Um, it was hard to know which way to put these three, but my top one was always going to be my top one. Again, it was the two and three. Which way did they go around? So number three, and I'm going to stick to what I've written down, is 40 Towers. 40 Towers is just brilliant. It was only two seasons, six episodes a season, so it kept it short. Every episode was spot on perfect. There were some episodes which were just hysterically funny. Communication problems. The woman who's got the earphones who can't hear. And she's like, um, she goes to a room. It's like, I wanted a, a room with a view. He goes, that is the room with a view. He goes, what were you expecting? Like, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, herds of wildebeest come flowing through. <laughs> I was expecting to see the sea. Well, there is the sea. View. Where is this? Well, there between the sky and the land, there's the sea. <laughs> it's just fun. There's so many funny episodes in that. 
if you've never again, if you've never watched Gorby Towers, I don't think they pop up on telly because I don't know what you know they show these days. If not, just buy it, rent it. It's just so funny. It might even be on YouTube. You've got to watch Forty Towers. It is so so funny. John Cleese, you know Monty Python, just brilliant, 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 brilliant. Um, then number two on my list is Only Fools and Horses. It had to be on there. Um, I've got them all. I've got all the TV shows. I've um, there, there was um, like special TV well, TV movies, but like you know longer than a uh, TV show. Um, if I was to say what one to watch. Because there are, there are so many, of you, if you've never watched it, I would say watch the special called The Jolly Boys Outing. <laughs> the Jolly Boys Outing. That was really funny. Um, they go down to Margate. <laughs> down to Margate. <laughs> that was just in the, in the Ben Bomb Brothers, as we knew it. I think it's called, or the Dream Land it's called now, something. That was really, really funny, that episode. Really funny. But there's lots of episodes, you know, that you could say, that's really funny, that's really funny. The one where they dress up as Batman and Robin's funny. The one where Daryl Boy's trying to like play it cool, play it cool, play it cool, trigger, play it cool, trigger, kills over. Just there's so many funny moments. The chandelier, it just it just goes on and on and on. There's so many good funny moments in that series. So many. But for me, the show that is my favourite show, comedy show, sitcom, whatever you want to call it, is Dad's Army. Dad's Army. It was just genius because it featured a lot of older actors who were comic actors, were well-known actors, um, and it, it's it's ne it's never dated because even when it was released in the 1970s, it was already old because it was set during World War Two, so it, it can never date, you know. And there's just so many favourite things about that show. I mean, so much so, this year, because I've got it here, it's celebrating its 50th anniversary. Let me bring this a bit closer. A set of stamps came out from um, England. Um, I've actually got a set of postcards which match all the stamps. So let me just go a bit closer there. You've got um, Sergeant Wilson, John Le Mesure. Uh, he says, uh, do you think that's wise? Because <laughs> that's what he always used to say that to Captain Mary Manning. Do you think that's wise? <laughs> um, Ian Lavender. Ian Lamadou, who's like the youngest in it, goes, I'll tell mum, I'll, and he was always saying that. Um, Captain Manning's phrase is, you stupid boy. <laughs> yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Um, Pike, see that's that's one he's got there. Don't panic, don't panic, Mr. Mandarin. Like, that's a, his catchphrase, but he's also, they do not like it out of them, they do not like it out of them. <laughs> he's got two phrases. Um, you've then got um, Private Walker, uh, it won't cost you much. He was always trying to sell everything to everyone, so he was funny. I'm looking at the beginning now. You then got Private Fraser. We're doomed. We're doomed. <laughs> um, Private Godfrey. Do you think I might be? Do you think I might be excused? He always wanted to go to the toilet wherever they were, whatever situation. He's like, could I be excused because he wants to go to the toilet? <laughs> Can't get that one now because I'm a bit older. And then you then got um, Chief Warden Hodges. Put that light out, put that light out, which is what the Wardens did in World War, you know, turn the lights out, you know. Um, but for me, and again, there's some really, really good episodes. There's, a, again, a movie, spin-off movie they did, which was incorporating some of the sketches into the movie. For me, the fa the best the best episode, if you only, again, watch one episode, it will be on YouTube, because I think I've seen it on there, although I've got them on DVD, is The Deadly Attachment. I think I'm 99% I'm sure it's called The Deadly Attachment. Because basically the home guard, as, as they are, um, captures some Germans, and there's, there's a German in there who's um, I forget his name. I've got his autograph. He pops up in Doctor Who, pops up a couple of times in Doctor Who actually, and it's like um, they're all doing things, and and the German goes, uh, "What is your name, boy?" Because Pike is saying stuff to get them wound up. What is your name, boy? Mannerman goes, "Don't tell him, Pike." <laughs> Now that's a funny, funny line, but if you really watch it closely, the camera pans back to Pike slash Ian Lavender. You can see he's wetting himself laughing. <laughs> he's not supposed to be laughing, but you can see that he won't like take two, take three, take four, just like we're just run with it. You watch it closely again, you can see he's absolutely cracking up. And that's what I love about that episode so much is the classic line with Pike laughing, although he's not supposed to be laughing. It's just... 
brilliant, just brilliant. So, yeah, Dad's Army. Who do you think you are kidding? Mm, no one. That's the best. Thanks for watching. Uh, there will be another episode soon of what my next set of favourite top tens are. What will they be? Hmm.